Welcome to gcredi.com. Let us see some of the questions on C language. What is C language? The C programming language is a standardized programming language. It was developed in the early 1970s by Ken Thompson and Dennis Ritchie for use on the Unix operating system. It has since spread to many other uh, operating systems and is one of the most widely used programming languages. C is prized for its efficiency and is the most popular programming language for writing the system software, though it is also used for writing the applications. What is a programming language? Programming language is any language that computer system can understand directly or indirectly to perform the actions asked by the programmer as a set of instructions in form of a computer program. A program is written as a series of human understandable computer instructions. The instructions can be read by a compiler and a linker and translate it into the machine code so that a computer can understand and run it. What is history of C language? C is a programming language which was born at Bell Laboratories of USA in 1972. It was written by Dennis Ritchie. This language was created for a specific purpose that is to design the Unix operating system which is used on many computers. From the beginning, C was intended to be useful to allow the busy programmers to get the things done because C is such a powerful, dominant and supple language. Its use quickly spread beyond the Bell lab Labs in the late 70s. What is the purpose of C language? In C, one can write the programs like that of high level languages as in COBOL, BASIC, Fortran, etc. as well as it permits very close interaction with the inner workings of the computer. It is a general purpose programming language. It is usually called system programming language but equally suited to writing a variety of applications. It supports data types. It follows the programming style based on fundamental control flow constructions for structured programming. The functions may be predefined or user defined and they may return the values of basic types, structures, unions or pointers. What type of language is C? C is a general purpose structured programming language. Its instructions consist of terms that resemble algebraic expressions augmented by English words such as if, else, for, do and while. In this respect, C resembles other higher level structured programming languages such as Pascal and Fortran. C also contains certain additional features that allow it to be used at a lower level, thus bridging the gap between machine language and the more conventional high-level languages. This flexibility allows C to be used for system programming as well as for applications programming. Why C is called middle-level language? Middle level language are closely related to machine as well as human being. C programming supports inline assembly language programs. Using inline assembly language feature in C, we can directly access to system registers. 
C programming is used to access memory directly using the pointer. C programming also supports high level language futures. It is more user friendly as compared to previous languages. So C programming is middle level language. Is a case sensitive language? Yes. In capital letter and lower letter have different meaning in C language. So C language is a case sensitive language. What are the advantages of C language? It is easy to write. Rich set of operators and functions that are built in. Support for bitwise operations. Flexible use of pointers. Direct control over the hardware. Its ability to access BIOS, DOS routines. Interact interacting using interrupts. It has the ability to write TSR programs to create .com files and to create library files. It's ability to write interface programs. What are the disadvantages of C language? There is no runtime checking. There is no strict type checking. For example, we can pass an integer value for the floating data type. As the program extends, it is very difficult to fix the bugs. What are the steps of executing a C program? The steps involved in executing a C program are creating and editing, compiling, linking, executing a program. Creating and editing. Writing or creating and editing a source program is the first step in C language. Source code is written in C programming language according to the type of the problem or requirement in any text editor. Compiling. Computer does not understand C programming language. It understands only zero and ones means machine language. So C programming language code is converted into the machine language. The process of converting the source code into a machine code is called compiling. Linking. There are many built-in library functions available in C programming language. These functions are stored in different header files. Executing a program. Execution is the last step. In this step, program starts execution. Its instructions start working and output of the program display on the screen. What is a compiler? A computer program which reads the source code and outputs assembly code or executable code is called a compiler. A piece of software that takes the third generation language code and translates it into a specific assembly code Compilers can be a quite complicated piece of a software. Example, C compiler. What is an interpreter? In computing, an interpreter is a computer program that reads the source code of another computer program and executes the program. Because it is interrupted line by line, it is a much slower way of running a program than one that has been compiled. But it's easier for learners because the program can be stopped, modified and written without time consuming compiles. Example basic. Differences between source code and object code. Source code. Source code is in the form of a text and is human readable. Source code is generated by the human and its input given to the compiler. Object code. Object code is in the form of binary numbers and it is in the machine readable format. Object code is generated by the compiler and it is the output of the compiler. What is a data type? A data type is a type of data. 
data type is a data storage format that can contain a specific type or range of values when computer programs store data in variables each variable must be assigned a specific data type many people believe that a programmer working in c language is provided with a very tiny set of data types but denny ricci has made available to the c programmers a feature that allows them to derive their own data types from the existing one this way a programmer can decide which data type is to be used depending on these two factors that is economize the memory space improve the speed of execution of the program list the different data types in c programming language in c language it is compulsory to declare the variables with their data type before using them in any statement mainly data types are categorized into three categories primitive data types derived data types user defined data types what are the primitive data types in c language the primitive data types in c language are the inbuilt data types provided by the c language itself thus all c compilers provide support for these data types for example the different primitive data types are int float double char void etc define integer data type integer data type is used to store numerical values without any decimal point example 71107 etc a variable declared as int must contain whole numbers example age is always in number integer occupies 2 bytes memory space and its value range limited to minus 32768 to plus 32767 define floating point data type floating point data type consists of two types they are float and double float float data type is used to store the numerical values with decimal point a variable declared as float must contain decimal values example percentage price area etc may contain the real values storage size of float data type is 4 this also varies depending upon the processor in the cpu as in data type we can use up to 6 digits after decimal using float data type double double data type also declares variable that can store floating point numbers but gives precision double than that provided by float data type thus double data type is also referred to as double precision data type and double data type is also same as float data type which allows up to 10 digits after the decimal define character data type character data type is used to store single character within single quotes a variable declared as char can store only single character example yes or no choice requires only y or n as an answer define void data type the void type basically means nothing a void type cannot hold any values you cannot declare a variable to be a void but you can declare a variable to be a pointer to the void a pointer to a void is used when the programmer may point to various data types to use the value 
that a void pointer is pointing to it must be cast into another type what are the user defined data types in c language c language supports a feature where user can define an identifier that characterizes an existing data type this user defined data type identifier can later be used to declare the variables in short its purpose is to redefine the name of an existing data type different user defined data types are struct union type def enum etc define structured data type A struct is a user defined data type that stores multiple values of same or different data types under a single name in memory the entire structure variable is stored in sequence define union data type a union is a user defined data type that stores multiple values of same or different data types under a single name in memory union variables are stored in a common memory location define enumerated data type an enumeration is a data type similar to a struct or union its members are constants that are written as variables though they have signed integer values these constant represent values that can be assigned to corresponding enumeration variables define type def data type the type def allows the user to define new data types that are equivalent to existing data types once a user defined data type has been established then new variables array structures etc can be declared in terms of this new data type what are the derived data types in c language derived data types are based on fundamental data types that is a derived data type is represented in the memory as a fundamental data type derived data types don't create a new data type instead they add some functionality to the basic data types two derived data types are array and pointer 